welcome to this Maths Made Easy video on Algebraic Fractions. The first skill that we need to be confident with here is being able to simplify algebraic fractions. And you can see from this example here what a typical exam style question looks like. And all we have to do is simplify the following fraction. Now here to simplify an algebraic fraction of this type, what we need to do is we need to find something that's in the numerator, a factor in the numerator, and a factor in the denominator that's common to both that we can easily cancel then. So what we're going to do here is start by factorising the numerator, factorise the denominator, and then find a term that's in both the numerator and denominator that's common. So if we start by factorising the numerator, 8x plus 12, well we can factor a 4 out here, so that's 4, and then in my bracket I'm going to have a 2x plus 3. So that's my numerator factorised. Now if we take a look at the denominator here, this is 4x squared minus 9. Now we can use the numerator to give us a bit of a clue here. We need to obtain either a 4 in the denominator or a 2x plus 3. And looking at this 4x squared minus 9, you might actually notice this as the difference of two squares. So in that case, what that means is that we're also going to get a 2x plus 3 in the denominator because this factorises as 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3. So now that we've factorised the numerator and the denominator separately here, we can clearly identify what's common in both the numerator and denominator. And that's this 2x plus 3. We have it in the numerator here, and we also have it in the denominator. So in that case, we can simply cancel those common terms out. And what that simply leaves us with here is 4 over 2x minus 3. And that gives us the solution there to that example. The second skill we need to be confident with when working with algebraic fractions is being able to multiply and divide algebraic fractions. This example here is a very common kind of question. We've been given x squared minus 2x minus 3 over 2x, and this is divided by x plus 1 over x squared. So to simplify an expression like this, when we're dividing, the first thing we need to do is consider the behaviour of division of fractions. When you're dividing fractions, remember, we take the reciprocal of the second fraction and then we change our division symbol to a multiplication symbol. And then we just multiply like normal and cancel where appropriate. And we treat that in the exact same way here, even when it's an algebraic fraction. So what we're going to do here is write out this question in full. So this is x squared minus 2x minus 3 all over 2x. And this is divided by x plus 1 all over x squared. Now like we said here, we take the reciprocal of the second fraction. So in that case, we just simply flip this fraction here. So if we write out again in full, this is x squared minus 2x minus 3 over 2x. So we flip this fraction here, so that becomes x squared over x plus 1. And this division symbol, remember we change that to a multiplication symbol. When you're dividing fractions, we change that to a multiplication symbol. Now here, again, this would end up being the multiplication of the two numerators together over the multiplication of the two denominators together. Now in this case, what I'm going to do first here is factorise where appropriate. And the only one that we can actually factorise here is this quadratic of x squared minus 2x minus 3. We can actually factorise that. That gives us x minus 3, x plus 1. And because we can't factorise anything else, we can't simplify anything, everything just remains the same. So that's 2x times by x squared over x plus 1. And here now, what you might notice straight away is some terms that can easily be cancelled. We have an x plus 1 here and an x plus 1 in this denominator. So they can cancel as they're common factors. We've got an x minus 3 here and a 2x and an x squared. So what else could we cancel here? Well, the only thing we can actually cancel is an x here. We've got a 2x and an x squared. So I can cancel one x here to bring this down to just x. And this, as this is 2x here, getting rid of one x here as they cancel there, as they're a common factor. So all I simply get left with here is my numerator of x minus 3 times by x. So I get x bracket x minus 3. And we simply get left with 2 times 1 that just simply gives us 2 for our denominator there. So that's our expression in its simplest form. Moving on to our final skill here on algebraic fractions, 
we're taking a look at adding and subtracting algebraic fractions. And we can see from this example that we're looking to simplify 2x over x plus 1 plus 5 over x squared minus 1 over x. So here what we're going to do first is get these three fractions over a common denominator. So how would we obtain this common denominator? Well what we'd do, say let's take this first fraction here, our denominator is x plus 1, so to get this over a common denominator we need to multiply numerator and denominator here by x squared and then x. So we multiply by the remaining denominators for the other two fractions. And we will repeat that, for example, with 5 over x squared, multiplying this numerator and denominator here, 5 over x squared, by x plus 1 and by x. So let's start by denoting that first. So our first fraction then, what's that going to give us? Well, that's going to be 2x, and remember, we times top and bottom here, our numerator and denominator, by the denominators here. We want to keep these fractions equivalent. So 2x times by x times by x squared there. Okay, so these other two denominators. And our denominator here now will be x plus 1 times by x times by x squared there. Okay, so that gives us our first fraction. Now we deal with the second fraction here of 5 over x squared. So our numerator is going to be 5 times by x plus 1 times by x plus 1 and finally times by x there. Okay, so that's our numerator. And for the denominator, again, we will obtain the exact same result here for all three fractions in terms of the denominator. So we can just write that out straight away now. So that's our second fraction complete. And finally, we just need to consider this minus 1 over x. So this is going to be minus, well, our numerator now. Well, that's going to be 1 times by x squared times by x plus 1. So this is 1 times by x plus 1 times by x squared there. Okay, so that's our numerator. And again, the denominator will be the exact same as the other two denominators. x plus 1 times by x times by x squared. So what we've done here is got our, or we've obtained our three fractions here with a common denominator for each fraction. So all we need to simply do here is simplify each numerator and add and subtract where appropriate. And once we've done that, we should be able to simplify and get this expression here in its simplest form. And doing so here, well, let's deal with this first numerator. So 2x times by x gives us 2x squared. And then if we times by x squared again, we obtain 2x to the 4 as our numerator. And our denominator here will clearly just be this product, which if we do x times x squared, x squared gives us x cubed, we can write that as x cubed x plus 1. So that's our first fraction here. Dealing with this fraction again in the exact same style here, we're going to obtain 5 times x giving us 5x, and then we're going to times it by x plus 1. So what we obtain here is 5x times x plus 1. And again, this is just going to be over the same denominator here of x cubed x plus 1. And finally, we have this fraction here. And again, this is going to be a minus. We've got 1 times x squared times by x plus 1. So this is simply going to be a numerator of x squared times by x plus 1. Okay. And again, our denominator remains the same. So here now, notice that we've got these three fractions over a common denominator, so we can write these all over one denominator now, which gives us 2x to the 4 plus 5x times x plus 1 minus x squared times x plus 1. Okay. And this is all over here, our common denominator of x cubed times x plus 1. Okay. And here what we do now is we take a look at our numerator and our denominator. And we, and we just take a look now to see where we can cancel terms if appropriate. And the only place we're actually going to be able to cancel here is in terms of our x. We've got a 2x to the 4 here, we've got a 5x, we've got a minus x squared, and we've got this x cubed in the denominator. So there's definitely going to be some cancellation that we can apply here. So we just need to see to what extent. Well, here, in terms of the numerator, 
our smallest power of x here is this 5x to the power of 1. Okay, so in that case, we can simply divide top and bottom here by a power of 1, okay, um, in terms of x. We could also just expand here first, so let's do that first. So if we expand first and then we can just divide it anyway, we would obtain the same result as just doing it like this first and then expanding. So if we expand first here, we get 2x to the 4 plus 5x squared plus 5x minus x cubed plus x, sorry, minus x squared. And this is all over x cubed times by x plus 1. So here now, if we simplify here first, if appropriate, we've got 5x squared minus x squared here. So simplifying that, that's just simply going to give us 2x to the 4 plus 4x, in fact, minus x cubed plus 4x squared. And then we've got our 5x here plus 5x. Okay. And this is all over our denominator of x cubed. So let's just rub that. It's not really neat. Try again. So we've got our denominator here of x cubed times by x plus 1. And again, like we just previously stated here, the biggest number or biggest term that we can cancel by here is just going to be x to the 1. Okay, Due to this fact that we've got this in the numerator here, and obviously it reoccurs here with 5x. So in that case, cancelling down by 1x term in the numerator and the denominator here across each term, that's going to give us, if we finish it over here, that's going to give us 2x cubed minus x squared plus 4x plus 5. And we just write this over our denominator now, where this becomes x squared times by x plus 1 here. Okay. And this expression here gives us our simplest form when simplifying 2x over x plus 1 plus 5 over x squared minus 1 over x, giving us the solution there to our example and concluding this mass made easy video on algebraic fractions.